Hi, I'm Jean Mabani, and today I want to tell you how to make this third comp component of our wine gift set. We've already talked about how to make the wine apron, and we've also how talked about how to make the wine cozy. So here is what you're going to need to make this coaster. Okay, so here's what you're going to need to make this wine cozy. You're going to need a piece of fabric, I'm using polar fleece, that has at least a five inch to six inch stretch. You want it to be pretty stretchy. You're going to need 30 inches of a 3 eighths inch ribbon, and you're going to need a little pin, a small pin to thread it through the eyelets in the back. You're going to need to have thread, and you're going to need a bobbin to match the thread that's the same color as your fabric, and a bobbin to match the thread that's the same color as the satin stitch around both the bottom and the top of your wine cozy, plus another color for your, for your words. You're going to need an 11 ounce wine glass, you're going to need to have heavy weight tear away stabilizer. You're going to need a topper. This is water soluble topper. It's you're going to need a five and a half by seven and a half rectangles. You'll need three of those. You're going to have to have some spray adhesive. You're going to need some small scissors, one to cut the edges close to the close to the seam line and either scissors or an exacto knife to cut the holes out in the eyelets. And you're going to need paper to make both your pattern pieces and your shield. So you want to hoop a piece of paper so that you can make your pattern for your back. Stitch out the pattern, making sure that you change your needle to an old needle because the, the paper will dull your needle. Go ahead and stitch it out. Once you get the pattern done, you want to cut it outside the stitching line, about a sixteenth of an inch or so. Make sure you keep the stitching line intact. Now you're going to have the pattern. Right stretch across this way because you're going to lay it on your fabric across the stretch so the stretch goes around the glass. And here's what you've got ready to go. So the next thing you want to do is to hoop a piece of tearaway, heavy tearaway and you're going to then sew out the placement for your back. And it's important to do your back first. This, your back has to be done before your front. Once you get that done, you want to make a shield so that you can spray your adhesive in the seams. And to do that, take the pattern, draw around the edge, then draw to the inside of your pattern and cut it out and you'll have a shield that will protect the inside of your cozy from your adhesive. So your next step is to spray within your seam lines of the back of your cozy. So put a piece of paper down to protect your workstation and just Go ahead and spray. Now you want to put this on the placement line that you have sewn out on your stabilizer. So make sure that you've got it so that you cover all the stitching. Make sure all your stitching is covered and press it down. Now you want to take one of those five and a half by seven and a half pieces of water-soluble stabilizer and put it over the top. 
So it's bigger so that we can pin it on the corners away from any place that your sewing machine is going to be sewing. That it's very important to keep your pins away from your sewing machine. Once you get them pinned down, once you get it pinned down, we'll, we'll take it to the sewing machine. We'll, we'll sew around the whole back with a tack stitch. Okay, so once you get the tack down around your back, you need to make sure and clip as close to the seam as you can where the satin stitches are going to be. So that's the back, the bottom and around where the, where the lace is going to be and this scallop at the top. So with just a little pair of scissors, you just want to clip as close as you can. Okay, so I'm almost done. It's a little, kind of a little tricky to get clear around all these, all this area. But just get it as close as you can so you don't have any little areas kind of sitting up there. Okay, so there we are, ready to go back to the machine and do the satin stitch and the eyelets. And even though it shows it in two different colors in your in your pattern, I always do it as one as one color. There, you'll be there'll be a color stop, but you don't have to change threads. Okay, so now we've got all of the satin stitching done, and you also have the eyelets that we're going to lace the ribbon through. So we can go ahead and clean up the take it out because now it's going to be taken out and and the stabilizer is going to be taken off of it. So you can remove it from the stabilizer. Okay, so now we've got we've got that almost all off. Now what we want to do is is cut the eyelets out. So with a little pair of scissors, you can just Cut in there and cut around and get the and get the eyelets cut out. The other option is to use an X-Acto knife. Okay, so here's our this is the last one. And now we've got everything ready to put the put the ribbons through. Okay, so now we're going to do the very same process with the front. Go ahead and go hoop some stabilizer. Stitch out your placement stitch. Make sure you cut your, cut your front on the stretch, just like your back, so the stretch is going around. Use your shield. Spray it. And cover up the stitches. Okay. Now you're going to take, oh, and you need to put your, your topping on and pin it down and go back to the machine. So what, what I've done was exactly what we did with the back. We, we stitched around it, we cut close to the seam line on both the front and the back. We took it back to the machine and we finished the embroidery. Now we're ready to finish this project. Okay, so what we're going to do is just take off the topper. Make sure you don't disturb the stabilizer on the underside. Okay, so now I've got the topper off. What we're going to do is put the back to the front. So now it becomes obvious why you do the back first. So now you'll take your back and you're going to put it on top of your, top, your front like this. So again, you want to, there, this is the back part, you want to 
spray just on the seam. You're going to make absolutely sure that your that, that your satin stitch is matching up there and your satin stitch is matching up there. So though, and press it down. Then look on this side. Make sure your stat, satin stitch is, ma is matching there. And your satin stitch is matching there. Press it down good. And take your topper. This is the last piece of five and a half by seven inch topper. You're going to put it on here. Pin it down. And we're going to go back to the machine and we're going to stitch just the seam line. Okay, so now you can see this last part. We, we made the seams down each side. So now we can take it off of the, out of the hoop. And we can take all of the, we can take all the stabilizer off of it. And we want to trim about within an eighth of an inch or so of the seam lines. So we just want to trim it up. So now you can see why you could put the adhesive in the seam line and it's not going to cause any problems. Okay, so now we've got, we'll get all this stabilizer. Okay, so now we can turn it right side out. And there it is. Clean up any of the stabilizer that's hanging around. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. Now we'll just get ready. to go ahead and lace it up. There's several ways you can lace it. Our favorite is to start at the bottom and go to the top. So, so again, you've got this little pin here. So it allows you to go through the, the laces. Okay, so it's all laced up. We'll just cut the cut the corners off of them to make it pretty. And there you have it. Ready for a party. Okay, this is Gima Bonnie from gmabonnie.com. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and have fun with all your sewing projects. See you next time.